Seeing if there's another way around that rather large group. This door doesn't open and therefore there is, rather unfortunately, no way around this large group outside, so we're going to have to do something about them. Which is a, a little bit unfortunate. Unless, of course, you enjoy taking them down in a fit of rage, blasting their heads off and such things like that. Because that's what we're going to have to do. I don't think sneaking past every single one of them is going to be feasible. So we are forced to confront, by the looks of it. We've got two bloaters, one clicker and a couple of runners. Quite the quandary to say the very least. And at this point I'm trying to formulate a plan. Assessing whether or not I can just run on by without causing too much of a problem. Maybe even using a brick or a bottle as a distraction. Get them running over down there and I go off to the right hand side. But uh, as you just saw, lobbing the brick didn't do the trick. So we're going to have to come up with a plan B. There are a couple of bottles up here as well, which we could use as uh, further distractions. In fact, there's plenty of bricks and bottles here that we can use. Plan B involves the age-old get them in one group and set them all on fire trick. There we go. How do you like that, you little bleeders? our molotovs on that one but they're all dead we're alive that is all that matters Observe the smouldering ruins. Can't even begin to imagine how horrific that must smell. All right. You think you can shove that crate down? No sweat. Give her a peg up then. Peg her up, push the crate down on top of my head if you wouldn't mind. take any chances. Moving away just in case that uh, it was possible for that to be pushed on top of my skull.
We're good. I don't think they can reach us now. Okay. Now watch your step. That water looks pretty deep. Hey, that's what we can do once we're done. What's that? You can teach me how to swim. You got it. Good idea. Learning to swim would definitely be a benefit. That is for certain. Reach that. No, you're right, we can't. So how do I get there? That is the million dollar question. And for the life of me, I can't remember how, to be honest. <laughs> How did I get up there? Uh, unless the, um, unless I can get under the water. But the water wasn't deep, I don't think. Is the water deep enough to, to go underneath? Can't get around the side here. Must be able to go underneath. Yes, it is deep enough. Camera troubles. I'm on the other side. Hey, right, hold on. Look at that roll reversal. It's normally Ellie that gets the ladders down for us, but uh, now we are getting the ladders down for her. Makes a change, isn't it? There we go. All right, just stick to the edge. It's shallow over there. found another one of them comics you've been reading. Another comic! Catalysis! Savage Starlight. Book number 30. Ooh, 13. Faced with the failure of their mission, Daniela and James chose to make the ultimate sacrifice for humanity. Flying the ship and the anti-carbon bomb on it straight into a neutron star. The resulting explosion was the single most significant astronomical event since the formation of the galaxy, destroying the Traveller fleet, their homeworld, and countless other worlds and star systems. But will the sacrifice of two of humanity's greatest heroes be enough to break the Traveller's iron grip? Who knows? Find out by watching the movie. Okay, so this is the point where I start going through uh, all the books to see if I've got them all or not. We got book one, we got book two, book three, book four, five, six, doing well so far, seven and eight are missing, we have nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and 13 sounds like the final one, so we're missing 7 and, seven and 8, I think. Um, so, uh, let's see if we pick them up. Desperately looking in the water for any more collectibles. Uh, oh, fish swimming by there. You see the fish? And another jam door. Another jam door! And a 
I don't know if that's a clicker or a runner or whatever it is, but it was infected in there, just sat contemplating life perhaps. It's doing something. Alright. And uh, yeah, rather bizarrely we willingly toss Ellie into the lion's den. And, uh, if there's no other way, there's no other way, but I mean uh, Yeah. Come on! <gasps> no. oh. You okay? Yeah. It just surprised me. Really? Man, I can't wait for those things to be wiped out. It up. was. He was just sat there. <laughs> sat there waiting for little girls to be tossed over so it could feast on them. And re obliged. <laughs> and you just really don't need me trying to save you Let's see what we with got. a gun. And your life is flashing before your eyes because I'm bound to miss three or four times. That'll do. Got there, got there eventually, of course. I sometimes miss on purpose to add to the suspense. That's what it is. Watch your head. <coughs> hey look. There it is. Wow, even closer. St. Mary's Hospital. I can almost touch it, taste it. Just have to figure out how to get from here over to there. This th so, having a look out for one of those little crate things maybe that we can just take Ellie across on. That would be a reasonable assumption. So far, though, no, nothing but water, and more water, and uh, a doorway that leads somewhere. Of course, gathering our breath. Looks like we might need to bridge that gap at some point with something, perhaps found under the water or in a room located nearby that we can only access by going down here through this doorway come on let's go it's quite a distance This is looking promising, we're going somewhere, but uh, still it's not leading us to any answers as to how we're going to get any further from that room, but I'm sure all will become apparent. And there you go, you see, look, one of those crate pallety things we can just ship Ellie across on. You know. Okay. Okay, there. I'm on it. Be careful. I got you. So 
well he's across, that's a starter for 10. Is there anything up there you can throw down for me? <laughs> I'm trying to get on it now as well. <laughs> Don't th oh! we go. Damn ladder broke off the wall. Now what? Uh, I'll figure something out. Damn ladder broke off the wall. That's uh, slightly annoying. But, uh, well, I suppose the original plan of trying to get something to bridge that gap over there is now back in force and this ladder looks to be a suitable thing to use but how do we get it in the water how do we swim across with it questions that i don't have the answer to at this moment in time at least jump in the water try and grab it no not working <laughs> when you're watching this back, I mean, I, I, I vaguely remember how I did solve the issue, but uh, it certainly does. It's like you're watching it now as, a, as a, I'm watching it now as a, uh, <clears throat> as a spectator, as a viewer, and it's you, th you can see sometimes the frustration, like hmm, when you know the answer, and the person playing the game doesn't know the answer, you're screaming at the computer screen, you do this, you're blind. But uh, you, you know, you especially if you miss things or oh, there we go. You see, use a ladder to climb up here. There, uh, then do what? What does that? What does that achieve? Uh, maybe, maybe we pull the ladder up from here. There we go. Yep. Try and get. His, here we go. Pull the ladder up. Run across to the other side. And the plan is beginning to form now. It's becoming clearer. Yeah. So yeah, you can see the frustrations that sometimes uh, viewers have, as uh, as you when you know what to do, when the other person is is playing the game doesn't know what to do, and sometimes I might miss something completely obvious, like I do all the time. He's screaming at the screen. You see. Oh. But if you don't know, you don't know, do you? Same when you miss things, you know, you, sometimes it's, it's, you, when you're watching these videos back in, and I'm editing them uh, and I'm not having to concentrate on playing the game and, uh, and talk at the same time, it's a lot easier to spot things, so oh boy. sometimes... Let me go ahead oh dear. and you follow my lead. Uh, fast okay, flowing water, it's not, uh, not good. Yeah, so when you, when you miss something that might appear to be blatantly obviously in front of your face, sometimes you're just so... Uh, focused on, on, on commentating and, and playing, like you do miss these easy things. And I fell down and got sucked away, not to my death, but uh, I'll spare you the agony that I suffered here, because at this point, for the next five minutes, I try to figure out what to do next, as if I could actually get out of this pickle. And I think, uh, at least I couldn't find a way out, uh, I don't think there is a way out of here. If you fall into the water, you don't die, but there's no way to get out of it. So you're sort of stuck here forever, unless you reload it, so uh, yeah. For the next sort of two or three minutes, I, I 
try everything under the sun to escape this rather strange mire I've got myself into before eventually reloading it. So I'll spare you the agony and I will just uh, cut to the solution. Stand by. So yes, reloading after eventually figuring out that I couldn't escape that conundrum that I found myself in and uh, tried to jump this gap again and uh, fell in a second time <laughs> oh dear and, uh, <laughs> just thought I'd uh, include this again just to make you chuckle that I actually did the same thing twice over not once but twice I fell in the water and I'm, st I'm still stuck there here at this point thinking do I, I I can't get out of here I've fallen down twice I can't seem to jump that gap for whatever reason is there something in here that I'm missing because I have a habit of missing things so is there something I'm not seeing is there something I'm not seeing in this fast flowing water that I need to do that's what I'm tr thinking, trying to figure it out, and I'm getting sucked down, getting pushed against this bus, and I'm getting frustrated, as you can imagine. I'm not swearing, of course, I don't tend to swear, but uh, I, uh, I'm getting more and more uh, frustrated with things. <laughs> and uh, I'm wondering how long I do this for now, I, I can't quite remember. The first time was about two and a half minutes before I reloaded. Let's see how long I take this time, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's quite amusing now when you know the solution and you know you can't get out of here but when you're trying to figure things out it's not quite so amusing Ellie stood there thinking what the hell are you doing Joel just can you not swim up here nope it's fast flowing water I can't swim upstream I'm not a salmon so we've restarted again and try a try a third time to see if we can get across this gap because that seems to be the only solution although I think I start to look around here see if there's a way to get round that I've missed I'm not convinced that jumping that gap is possible so there's got to be another way can I break this car loose for it to float downstream and give me a means to jump on top of the bus all these things are going through my mind at this point when the solution is fairly simple you just jump that rather small gap <laughs> there we go great come on jump you're gonna catch me I got you but the rather funny thing is as you're about see, to see you didn't even need me let's get the hell off this thing yeah let's go Funny thing is, we end up in the bloody water anyway. I'm stuck in here. This is not a good situation. This is a long time to be underwater, even we're struggling now. Uh oh. 
Hands in the air! She's not breathing. Hands in the fucking air! I'm trying to resuscitate you, stupid moron! Oh. 